Hello YouTube, hello Twitch, it's some more Hearthstone. This is the day after the release stream, and already we're getting some sort of meta settling down. I will say so far the big winner, as from what I've seen, is Fire Elemental Mage, or just Mage in general, to be honest with you. They have a lot of really strong decks right now, and they're polling really well. Uh, Quasar Rogue is causing people to mold out of their brains, but actually isn't performing particularly well right now. It has had a few notable games on the interweb which i'm sure you can find yourself where it's been winning on turn four other than that it's been a little bit too inconsistent but just wait till people refine that list to balance between the aggression and the survivability and i'm sure there'll be a really strong list coming out soon uh, also notably i think a lot of classes that were doing well before the set came out are still doing well shaman is still up there uh, i don't think this is really because of the new cards it's more and i don't think it's doing too badly the asteroid shaman decks but i think this is more to do with like nostalgia shaman now third on that list right now is hunter from what i can see and this is what we're going to play today i actually didn't play hunter in the last expansion i just had no draw to play that class with the addition of Nael, though there is this possibility of something that is a little bit more of a value orientated hunter deck and it kind of appealed to me that being said, I've made my deck quite aggressive, hence why I've called it Discover the Face Hunter. So, a lot of this package is fairly close to things from the, the the token, so to speak, Hunter package. I've got something in here like the Awakening Tremors, I've got Patchwork Pals in here as well, and these are mainly to cast a bunch of spells to give me a bunch of minions in hand. And while I'm doing this, I can get Nexus Prince Shafar copied onto some minions. So that's one of the things I've got going in my deck. Also, with the ability for me to cast a lot of spells and a lot of cheap cards in my deck, I have got Mantle Shaper in here as well to cheat out some more stuff. So the, the idea here is that I'm going to be putting on pressure after pressure after pressure. Then the other side of my like hybrid deck is this Nael Discover package. So I've got a bunch of cards in here for discovering cards like Scarab Keychain. I have in here Bird Watching, which discovers something from your deck, so I can get copies of cards in my deck. Titan Forge Traps is literally only in here because of its discovery. It can actually do a little double discover. And why is that important? Well, that allows me to cheat out something like Alien Encounters instead. So, again, just keep putting more and more stuff on the board. Keep going as aggressively as possible. Parallax kind of becomes a 4-3 weapon as well when you spell burst it one time. That's quite a lot of damage in the, the weapon, you know. This is 8 damage in total on a weapon. That's pretty spooky. So, I'm hoping to race down my opponents. That is the game plan. The simply put. By the way, Grifter is also in here as another good discover option. So I definitely think there are some people that have gone more value orientated with this discover package. And I'm not saying that's wrong, but I'm going to go for a slightly more aggressive approach to this. And by the way, the other cards that kind of like fill out the curve. Rangari Scout is in here to give me the copies of discovered cards because, you know, Nael gives me the discover tracking hero power. But we want more value. So this is my value card in here. Astral Vigilant can potentially pull another Rangari Scout of the Ether, so I can get more value going forwards. And Bunch of Bananas is a bunch of spells for my Mantle Shaper, and also can protect my things on the board. Finally, Troubled Mechanic can pull out Draenei in my deck. There's only three Draenei in my deck. Rangari Scout, the other Troubled Mechanic, or Exarch Nael, so he's a pretty reasonable tutor. It's going to get me something that I want. Anyway, let's see how this performs. Ah, a Druid. Perfect. Druids are very slow, right? And we're going to be very fast, I hope. Okay, we do not want Mantle... Well, do I want Mantle Shape in my opening hand? We probably want Pals. We definitely don't want Alien Counters. Uh, I'm going to say I don't. I don't know about Shafar, though. I think I'm willing to hold Shafar as my three drop. I'm hoping for one of my one drops. Okay. By the way, the bird watching also pretty good for ooh, trying to find Nael as well. In fact, I might even go on coin bird watching just as the opening play. Although saving coin for troubled mechanic would also be pretty nice. Uh, but no, we'll take the we'll take the tempo option. Scout 
pretty useful as well. We'll use Scout to fill out a curve at some point. And maybe discover me something. Uh-oh. Here comes the ramp. Alright, so Dragon Druid. So they're actually going to have some board presence. Which means the Troubled Mechanic won't live through the board. Because it'll get pinged and traded. That's fine. Job's done. It's fine, we've done nothing for two turns, but this is okay. And I have no spell to spell burst. I have a spell to spell burst. Is it time for some value? I think it's actually time to play a weapon. We can spell burst this whenever we want. Alright, scary start. Druid's basically done all they wanted to do in the early game. But look at all this potential value. Balan, we have a problem. Three, six, wait. I've, I've got a problem here. I can't spell burst it with the spell I was going to spell. Could belong to a brand new species. That's fine. We'll do this a different way. Give me a Titan Forge instead. Yep. Now sight read. Also, I forgot this actually is more than eight. It's potentially twelve. You just get immune on the spell burst. Wow, the trosser, trosser went all to minions. That's kind of crazy. Could do with... Hmm, freezing. Is that what I want? Freezing on the trosser would not be good. It's my spell burst, though. Our soul now the and we get a scout back. I'm getting raced by Druid, which is slightly alarming right now. It'll be fine, though. Aha! You got caught by the secret. I think hidden meaning might be too slow at this point. Although, what am I actually really scared of right now? Swipe. Uh, actually, maybe double swipe is what I'm scared of. Maybe I do have to. Yeah, I do. Just in case they double swipe me. Uh, the Misha. And there's no point in trading the one. Uh, you know what? I can bait him. I say I can bait him. I've got explosive up. I'll set up for explosive. It doesn't really help because they'll trade the fault. Yeah, I should have just... Whatever. Oh, I forgot I have bait and switch. Never mind, this does make sense. Aha! My phase damage is incoming. Four damage from explosive trap so far. Stay alert, my children. We are probably going to have to hook for that. Okay. Well, that's pretty bad news, Bears. The beauty of nature. Time is running out.
You aren't really the winner's choice right now. Sorry to say. Pray that it hits Huffer, maybe? As a gracious host, I will tend to it's very unlikely. Okay, it hit the other Huffer. I'll take it. I have to trade it. I don't know why I actually wanted that to hit Huffer. I actually miss... Misa would have been better there, I think. Oh, Misha, sorry. To just block some more damage. Because I now lose the... Mm, maybe that was a bit of a troll turn. Actually, just double Huffer probably would have been better. Yeah, definitely would have been. It doesn't matter. We're going to lose anyway. Druids at turn... Well, 11, I suppose, but... And I didn't put any pressure on. Ah! New set comes out. How many of the new cards are we using? Zero of them. Actually, no respect for this. Okay. Alright, nice net deck, Druid. But it's hard to put, you know, your fingers in Control C and Control V. You don't even need to put on Control V now that I think about it. Because the game just auto does it for you. Well, I say that, but I've had a few issues again with the, the deck codes, which always happens in every new set. I get this lovely spreadsheet of codes that I put together so that I can just, you know, import them into the client so I don't have to do any messing around on the release day. And always, every time the code breaks, so... Uh, some of my codes have worked, but most of them haven't, so I've had to manually put a few more decks in today. Okay, so this is going to be Elemental Mage, probably, of some variety. Or it's going to be Big Spell Mage, one or the other. I have a card for turn one. Hello, Alien Encounters, times two. Where were you last game, by the way, where I needed you most? Uh-oh. Coin elemental elemental. Okay, well, I can put them in a slightly awkward position. You can only ping one of these things. Okay. Probably as strong a play as they could possibly have done there. Unlike my plays. I, how have I drawn... I've got five cards, I think, in my deck that are like four or more. And I've drawn all of them in the opening. Crazy. Well, all but Agrimar. And I guess the other Chief. But... All right. I think we lose the game now. I push the button. That's pretty bad news, Bears. To take that honestly we could start stabilizing next turn the alien counters even at four is still pretty reasonable what is this draw So the problem with that deck is double Lamplighter, and I guess the Saren combo at some point, which will just OTK me. 
So I need the maximum amount of healing I can get from this, I, I believe. So I'd be willing to play it at this point. Shafar. Shafar is probably too slow for what I need right now. Nice. Nice little discount there. Alright, now we are playing tempo. I have a 7 6 for one mana on me. Alright, that's both solar flares. That's really good. They've played it before Saren. You are slightly late. I've got to be completely honest with you. Oh, yeah. This is not a good play, by the way, but I can't think of anything better right now. Than just sending it, effectively. Magic and magma go so, I can't ever get you out of the range of the trade there, so I'll, I'll put you onto here. And I'll push the damage. Okay, Niall, I need you to show up, baby. You are my drawer in my deck. Fine. Kind of. That's less fine. These could belong to a brand new species. Do I go for value or do I go just for Agrima? I can't play Agrima this turn, so we're going for value, I think. Yep. The button didn't matter there. If if they were on elect or if it would put them to nine, sorry, I would have done it. But they have leaf they have lamp lighter, don't they? They top deck the lamp lighter. And what's the other spell? I'm not upset. The top 12 cards in the deck, they had the two most powerful cards. That's fine. That happens. I mean, there was no surviving it. What can you do? Right, can we have a normal draw for a change? Can I not draw either only my early game or only my late game? Late game? You know, turn six, that late game. Okay. You know what? We'll keep it. Scarab gets the Discover Train going. If this is Asteroid Shaman, they're going to be vaguely slow. I'll take a nice drop. Howdy Finn was not what I was expecting to see. Uh, hello, Howdy Finn. Balan, we have a 
a problem. Does anyone copy? God damn it, I low roll. Well, actually, you know what? We can do something with that still. Patchwork Pals is in my deck, which implies the card is good enough to take, or better than the average card. Next turn we can Troubled Mechanic into Tracking, it's going to definitely get me one of the two Draenei that I actually want. It's Excavate Shaman. We can't lose to Excavate Shaman, I refuse. I refuse. Hit the 2-1, please. Thank you. Okay, they're not as aggressive as I thought they might be. I think this means we also take a different line now. now sight you can keep the 1-1. One, one. That doesn't bother me. We can go for Titanforge next turn as well, if I really want to. I'm a bit concerned right now I'm using all my Discover cards before I even get Nael, but... And you know what? I still got a Titanforge in the deck. And we're, we're getting the Alien Encounters discounted. By the way, I think this card is nuts. It's just unfortunate where the meta is right now. Okay, this is going face, by the way. We're going to ignore the spell burst effect. I don't believe you have plus two health buff. If you do, I've made a misplay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why'd you get two cards? Oh, wow, it includes itself. Oh, okay. It's actually Murloc Shah, but I'm stunned. Oh, okay, I got a minute. I got a minute. Oh, come on. I was about to have some fun. Problem. Uh, we probably want to get bird watching here because I need Nael fairly soon. Thank you for Nael. I'm gonna throw down an ice trap as well, just because I get the feeling wave nostalgia might be incoming. I'll make a little trade. Uh, trading into one of the one ones doesn't really help me here. You can still trade into divine children and kill the two ones. So I'll, I'll let you have three. I said, I've got the answer to wave. All right. Is it Nael value time? Actually, I don't think it is. I think it's Agrimar time. Okay, we can we can just keep eating damage to the face. That's fine. Health is a resource. There we go. We finally got him with the ice trap. Aha! So sneaky. Just in time. Our 
Let's get rid of this. A nuisance. Do I want a button before Niall? Actually, do I want to play Niall this turn? Uh. Yeah, I think I do. Ah, lush wilds and clear steps. This could be our home. Shafar or Shaper? Let's go for Shafar. Show interest to see how this performs. Now, we don't want a Vigilant this thing back. So, I think I'm going to hold right now. It's fine. Agrimar's kind of done his business. As a gracious host, I will tend to you. These have belonged to a brand new species. <laughs> How entertaining. Hmm. Uh, Grifter, please. And then we want the last drain I we played. That's Your fine. Now trade smartly here because you're going to lose a guy otherwise, so we need to do that first. Then hit. Okay, this is kind of more like what I envisaged. You know what? It's actually not very facey at all, is it? It's more mid range. I'm not quite doing it as fast as I thought it was going to do it, but it's still pretty potent. Aha! You thought this lightning storm doesn't kill everything. So we're going for... Ooh, okay, we could go for a, a few different lines here. Three. Three, four, seven. I need six damage. Grifter could get me six damage. So could Huffer. Hang on a minute. Do I have the mana for this? One, two, three, four. Hmm. Seven. Do I ever discover on two? I don't. I do. Now sight read. And a two. Okay, one and two. We're going to ignore the fact that the one was to, <laughs> to excavate Shaman. That's fine. Excavate Shaman's a realistic deck. It's a real deck, okay? It's good. Right? Rexa versus Sai! Alright, there's, there's actually like 18 different flavors of Death Knight right now. Who knows which one this is going to be. You know what? I'm actually going to keep this. Both troubled mechanics mean I can't draw a troubled mechanic off it. I'm guaranteed to get Nael eventually. Kind of. Oh yeah, I have to do this. Good point. Uh, we'll grab a bargain bin this time. I have seen people running this deck with the full secret package or a fuller secret package. I think that might also be a pretty smart way of doing this, but... Eh. A minor slip up. What a okay, Troubled Mechanic now is kind of pointless on two. But it's worthwhile on three. We'll make the trade here to break one of the the ghouls eventually. There is a weapon in my deck, by the way, which is the other reason why you want to run the secret package, because Bargain Bin is actually really good with the Parallax Cannon. Ah, 
Okay, we're actually beginning to see something interesting. I will take the other shaper, please. Let's go for the aggressive line. We have a few spells in hand. That's almost certainly Razzle Dazzle, or the Starship version of Razzle Dazzle. It's basically the same deck. They can't easily deal with Troubled Mechanic anymore. I think we'll take that line now. Valen, we have a problem. We'll take a Nial. Okay, so that's every Draenei in the deck drawn now. I don't think we were offered Scout then, but I should have taken Scout if I was offered it. Because I was guaranteed to get the other one from the Spell Burst. The Citadel stands strong! Interesting. You're not going to button it? You're actually... Oh, you're going to trade that and then... Okay, fine. That works too. Never mind. Oh yeah, that's a rush. Sorry, it's the, the precursor's rush. Those solves any problem. Ha! I think I'll take two mana, four ten pause. Excellent. With a three mana five five on top. Now we're playing. My great titans. It's control, isn't it? You would only run its fix if you're a control deck. Oh, are you Highlander as well? Because I've just realized you've not... No, you have run a duplicate, right? You ran two Barons. Aha! My wall of Skrungox has denied you entry to my face. Excellent. All according to plan. And now we get the value. These could belong to a brand new species. Yes, findings. Muzzle their magic. Muzzle I think this is the correct play. Just trying to avoid something like a. Uh, Whatchamacallit? The... The Corpse Killer? Oh, actually, uh... Do they have the coin? If they have the coin, they can do it. No, they've spent the coin. Ah, Threads is also a good answer. Still, that was an expensive Threads. Actually, I was going to make a different line then, but I think it's the wrong line. Well, do, do I want Agrimar right now? Surely I want to duplicate Agrimar. Maybe we'll just grab a Vigilant. Then I do want to play a one drop, so we'll play one of the shapers. And now we're putting on a bit of pressure. And there goes the pressure. Now we can actually we can deal with this. This isn't a, a huge issue. Well, it's a pretty big issue since they also gained five in the process. But with Huffer and Leox, we can break down this wall. Then I definitely want to discover this turn. These could belong to a brand new species. 
Okay, we want to leave encounters. I don't have one damage, which is such a, a shame. I think I'll spend the mana. There was temptation to keep it because of spell burst, but that's a pretty good board, right? This is okay. I still have two big cards in the deck as well. If I can get a copy of them, we go crazy. Uh, it's also not triple blood. It could be double blood though, in which case Soul Stealer is around about now. Ah, it is. So Corpse Explosion was the card I was trying to get to before. This is a game we're probably favor to lose, so. I, I wouldn't read too much into this one. I'd still like to have won it, but. Our souls are scattered across the universe. These could belong to a Brahmo's people. Are you? Well, actually, you know what? Whoa. Okay, do I want freezing trap on this thing? Not really. We'll get an ice trap going. Uh, I'll fill my hand up, I suppose. I'll try and protect my board as well. Make my opponent's life slightly harder. You have earned an eternity of torment. Imagine running plagues in the year 2024. Late 2024. They're running no new... Oh, no, they are running one new card. Airlock Breach. I'm sorry. I was going to do you a great disservice. Ah! And I instantly That's drew one. Cool. It's go time. We obviously don't want the frost plague. We'll take a bunch of bananas. Our souls are scattered across the universe. Stay and faces the place. Bait and switched. Almost certainly gonna get killed now by a three damage thing. Okay, never mind. Just, just get hit by Zilliax. Here's the problem I have no answer to this. I guess it's Grifter is my answer. Hello, Grifter. These could belong to a brand new species. Who could put a price on such powerful artifacts? I could. I have to take it. Goodbye, spell burst. Our souls are scattered across the universe. Two Shafars, please. Good, sir. And. I guess we push some damage here. Sure. I'll burn a banana. Stay vigilant. Stay vigilant. I feel like I need to spend my curve fairly efficiently right now. 
or I will lose. Time is no longer on my side. I'm like eating through my deck pretty quickly and there's five plagues in there. Pain. I'm just gonna get locked down by a discovered weapon now if you don't mind. Akramar does nothing anymore because I will be frozen permanently for the rest of the game. As a gracious force, I will As a gracious force, I, I need this to go to Huffer. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'll live with it. 7-5 Charger. Hopefully Misha stays alive, because then I can block the freeze damage. And I think we'll actually just burn the weapon to get Agrimar on. If it does. So I can start getting more taunt. All right. They are a Starship deck, they've just not played any of the Starship pieces, which is why they're actually winning the game right now. Uh, three, six. Wow. That was cool. Nine. Sixteen. Nineteen, twenty-one. I think I've only got twenty-one damage, which ain't enough. These could belong to a brand new species. Yes, finding. No one expects the rat. If only I had another Huffer in hand. I actually misplayed that. I should not have put that on Agrimar. I should have played Awakening Tremors to get it on one of the one drops. You have lethal. You're a death knight. You have lethal from here. Okay. Imagine if we could attack. Imagine Quartzite Crusher was a balanced weapon in the game past, dude. I know, crazy. Uh, I have nothing in the deck to save me anymore. to commit seppuku. Again, I just want to point out my opponent's playing a starship deck and literally has not played one of the starship pieces. Had they played a starship piece, I ironically might have won this game. Also, opponent, you know, they gained back, what was it? 16, 36 health in the total to that game. What can you do? Like, that was an awful matchup for me. And we still did okay.
In fact, it was more than that as well, because I didn't even count the Zilliax, which was... I don't even know if that was 12, but it was there or thereabouts. They, they must have healed her, like, 40 health this game. And but for my face being frozen, we could still have done something. Hello again, Death Knight. By the way, I, I believe of all the control decks, the Death Knight one is doing the best, as predicted. It is a pretty disgusting deck. Alright, patchwork. I'm actually going to grab you guys later. Tremors on one. We'll use Birdwatching Girl because I do want to use the Discover cards as fast as I can. To get the Alien Encounters cheaper. Because I think that's really where our, our deck comes. Perhaps at this point I would also... I would admit, I think building this as a more value-orientated deck would have been a better idea. I can't quite put up enough pressure. Oh my god, the Plague Plague Death Knight. Honestly, no one would have been upset if Plague Death Knight got removed from the game. I'm just throwing that out there. Like, you could have sent it to the Shadow Realm, Hearthstone, and no one would have been bothered by it. It's not even good anymore. It's just a hateful deck that... Oh, it's a Starship deck. It's just a hateful deck. I don't like it. It stops you trying to play later game decks, but it doesn't anymore because of the existence of what's his name? Kill Jaiden. It's going to fuck up all the mid range decks instead, which is me. What? I'm crying. Uh. Three one's pretty pointless to play right now. Into a three two divine shield. I, I probably should have just played Nial there. Yeah, that was a bit of a dumb play. Whatever. I was actually toying with the idea then of, and I'm not going to do it. It's a trap. Oh, they're grabbing the plague before they play Hellia. You have earned an <laughs> Which, of course, they played on four. Again, I'm going to lose not to starships. I'm going to lose to play Death Knight. Lush wilds and clear skies. This could be our home. It's a trap. What is this deck design, by the way? What was the plan? <laughs> I just don't understand. Why Why do you think Plague's plus... Oh, I know what it is. I actually do know why this is. It's because there's Death Rattle in the Plague deck. So they're going to have Death Growl and shit like that in the deck. Cool. Okay. I need to play some cards here. This could belong to a brand new species. That has to be one. Okay. They were the two secrets I think I needed. Because now explosive will do the board. Opponent playing around it well.
Trouble mechanic is not really what I wanted. Uh, let's try this for a change of pace. I'm, I'm actually trying to fish for one of the Astral Vigilance there. But this is going to be a pretty slow turn for my opponent since I'm going to explosive their board. Interesting. <laughs> I can get behind that. <laughs> How entertaining. Our souls are scattered across the universe. Magic and magma go hand in hand. Death marches on the realm of the living. I always quickly. Damn it. We might die here. Because my opponent's like playing as if they won. That's a pretty aggressive board. Oh, I forgot to play around Suffocate. Alright, that's my fault. I can't believe they got the pain package with it. The, the pain, the plague package, it is a pain. And I can't believe they've drawn all of it. All but the weapon, I'm going to assume is what they've drawn in their opening 11 cards. These could belong to a brand new species. Have to play this now. Uh, do I want to play the last one and break the chain? I don't think I do. Let's get another value card. Job's done. I don't think my opponent can break through this. <laughs> I, I just won't draw the eight plagues in my deck. They've drawn all the plague cards of the Exodar. That's crazy. And they're still going to lose. <laughs> as long as this thing lives, I've got a good chance. Okay, 10 plagues in the deck now. That feels good. Don't draw them all. Thank you. Three, six, eight. Who could put a price on such powerful artifacts? I could. Isn't finding. And this is why starships suck balls. Because I can do that. If we have lethal, eight. 14, 19, 21, 25. I need five more damage. Thank you for that lovely starship, by the way. Death Knight, I much appreciated it. <laughs> All right, honestly, frame it, put it up in the Hearthstone Museum. That is why starships can't work, because of bullshit like that. 
Did my opponent deserve to lose that game? Hell no, they didn't deserve to lose that game. They integrated with the mechanics of the deck perfectly. They built a starship. The thing that kept them alive to build the starship was actually plagues, which I don't agree with. I think that's kind of a silly way of doing it, but the plagues put some pressure on me. It killed some of my momentum as well going through the game. I had to deal with the two twos. Do all of this put me on, what was it, seven health at the end of the game? And I just steal it with a one mana spell. And they lose. Rexa versus Arthas. You will know endless torment. Let the hound sing along. That's an interesting opening. I think I don't want it though. By the way, Death Knight again. I'm not sure I want Rengari scouted by hand either, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Here's the thing though. Why am I keeping Troubled Mechanic then? Because the only point of Troubled Mechanic is to draw the Draenei in my deck. I, I actually can't answer it. I, I think it's actually just a mistake with my deck building, okay? I'll admit it. Do I want to bounce anything back to my hand? Not really. That could actually be good. <laughs> Is my opponent stupid? <laughs> what are you doing? Why would you coin Dirty Rat? I just don't get it. I guess they were trying to hit Nael, but that is such a pipe dream. You, you basically took a, a 5 in 30 chance. So 1 in 6. And it wasn't even that. That was actually stupid mass. It was a 1 in 6 to hit in my hand, and then you had to hit it in my hand, so it was a 1 in 5 on top of that. I guess it's a 1 in 30 when I... No, 1 in 29 because I'd already played the card. A 1 in 20 chance to hit Nael. 29 chance to hit Nael. It's my turn. What? What acoustics. Oh, I did battle cry! <laughs> I'm the stupid one. I'm the stupid one. Whoopsie. You know what? It's fine. It's still a 3 7. Doopy doo. I'm the stupid one. Formation, Keep discovering cards, that's fine. Uh, yeah, give me the value card. I didn't notice, by the way, after the Dirty Rat, the turn changed. So I don't know what was going on with that. Maybe it's just my old age. That thing can attack now from next turn. Wow. You know, take my okay. You stink. <laughs> cool. Good three drop. My favorite three drop, in fact. Uh, the ordering doesn't work nicely for me here. I kind of need Huffer. Get him, Agrimar. I always forget that the Titan is, you know, some of the Titans have battle cries on them. By the way, this is Plague Death Knight, I think. Or maybe they've gone for a different flavor with the Excavate package, but he normally goes with the Plague package, right? All right, my opponent's played that nicely. Lucky to get Heart Bloom, but... Uh, sometimes you make your own luck. Three, that's fine. Uh, 
Uh... My hand is really weird right now. It's no spells and only minions. Alright. It's good old play Death Knight. I thought we'd not gonna see this anymore. I thought we were done with this monstrosity of a deck, but no. Here we are, new expansion, new people playing the old deck. As a gracious host, I will tend to you personally. <laughs> How entertaining. Let's get some Shafar value going. Really did not want to hit that, but what can you do? Wow. In your deck, right? It is in your deck. I actually can't play this this turn. I can, but it's a bit of a risk. I'm going to actually take the risk. Please don't hit the temporary minion. Thank God. <laughs> Bless me. I deserved a bit of luck there, in my opinion. We only need one. All right, we have an amalgam in the deck now to protect me from the plagues. Don't hit the A2, please. Thank you. Right, some discover cards, please. That will do nicely. Ah, lush wilds and clear species. <laughs> Funnily enough, I'm not going to take one of the plagues. Thank you. I could have pushed one more damage then, but it makes the 3-4 trade harder. Hey, playing against Death Knight sometimes. All right, they didn't eat the eight eight though. Simple Hang on a minute. Death. It's still pretty bad because I don't really have removal. Take a good you ain't never seen a lot again. And they've also got Reska. Opening half of the deck, Reska Primus. Half the excavate cards. At least they're leaving this up though. Grifter, please. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> Hang on a minute. A new way to win the game has just dropped. Can you please work with me, game? Okay, now we have a plan. Follow its tracks. Uh, we'll remove a three off the board. Something's gonna get eaten, probably the eight eight. But that's not the worry right now. The worry is just to live. I tried to spread a little bit wider. Jesus Christ. 
Can I please stop playing against hard control death knights? That's all I ask. Ah, the worst train happened as well. Oh my god, an Agrimar's back. What? You know what? As lucky as I got against the previous Death Knight, I've got pretty unfortunate this time. That feels good. Our souls are scattered across the universe. These could belong to a brother. Rifter saves me, maybe. Rifter has a chance. We can steal a card. Who could put a price on such powerful artifacts? I could. Here to find it. Very dead or alive. Don't kill my own rescuer. Are you stupid, Yog? Mark of the bitter. That doesn't help me at all. I can't because of the spell damage. It'll kill me. Ah! <laughs> Can't believe I didn't find a spell that did damage from Death Knight. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Wait, oh no, it's no. Oh my god, I can't, I can't believe we lost that game, but... Oh, uh, if only my Frost Death Knight card was actually a spell that did damage and not discover a Frost spell in your deck, which is going to be a plague. Or get two mana crystals, which wasn't very useful. And then I got generated, deal damage to my face. If that didn't get generated, I could have won. You're a swipe. It's not fair. Uh, Alright, I'll give this one more whirl, and then we'll we'll call it there. We're definitely going to go negative with this deck, but I sort of expected to, to be fair. I definitely think you should build it a bit more mid-rangey, long-rangey in mind. My more aggressive version just isn't working. I don't get under deck, so it's kind of pointless. Rexa versus Arthas. I wish you could say not play against a class. All right, is my opponent gonna dirty wrap one of my minions instantly on turn? No, not even turn two, turn one. Are they gonna coin dirty rat? Right, that's Shafar fuel. We're going to be trapping. He's coined. Okay. <laughs> I was about to lose it a little bit. Howls or traps? I think we want traps this time. Gives me a double discover. Uh, next turn we can do... Hmm, I guess traps plus a bursting Yormunga is the correct play. Not my favorite. I was really looking for hidden meaning again there. Decent though. Uh, 
All right, it's Shafar time. Shafar, carry me to greatness, please. As a gracious host, I will tend to you personally. Uh, mantle shape might not be a bad idea here. I've not got many spells though. I really want to be casting on the regular. Actually, I think bird watching is better <laughs> because realistically, the card I want right now is alien encounters because I've discovered quite a lot this game. And realistically, what I'm going to do with Yormunga, I'm probably going to patchwork it or birdwatch it. Shaper, you'll come later. Don't worry about it. You'll have your time. <laughs> Probably should grab Niel fairly soon. But the mantle shaper is kind of disgusting now. I'm actually going to try this a little bit differently. I've been grabbing Niel early. Maybe I don't worry about it. Maybe I'll just play as an aggro deck for now. And then see where the world takes us. Job's done. I only have one spell to spell burst, by the way, on the Scarab right now, which is Patchwork, which is going to fill my hand too much, so. Uh, we might not play a buffed minion next turn. Okay, never mind, we will. Change of plans. Could actually come into action. So good Bloodsail Raider for that matter, but Bunny Stomper to fight the board back would not be a terrible idea. Actually, I could consider playing it now. Yeah. The damage semi didn't matter there. I'm going to make Leok a little bit harder to trade out. Actually, I say that. It doesn't really make a huge difference with the Leok thing. Good point. <laughs> I forgot I've only got Rush. All right, we'll just set everything to three. I'm sure Death Knight doesn't have three damage. So a minion. Wow. Values the bunny shaper trade. I actually respect that. I have a lot of time for that trade. Can I discover this turn? I don't believe I can. Misha? It's what I'm playing. Face is the place. Engaging TC one thirty until this. You know what? Fair enough. I should have been more aware of MCT. It was still the right play, I think, but very painful. Do not hit the scout. Ah, it was a one in five. He hit the one in five, you swine. I guess the question is, do I play it for stats? 
No. I actually think I play the weapon instead. And I don't learn from my mistakes. We'll play through MCT again if you don't mind. You know what? I'll meet you in the middle. I'll trade one. The runes inside your foot. Unholy symbol of. It, it, I, I just keep going up against the primus in the top half of the deck. It's a shame. Right, I need Nael now. I, I know I, I had the option earlier, but I didn't take it, but I do actually need Nael. I think I'm going to have to toss this scout as well, because I need These more value. To a brand new species. <sighs> Huffer, you just chill for a second, buddy. I really didn't want it to hit the buffer because I don't know if I want to trade it to the 10-4. It seems obvious that I have to, but I just don't want to. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, Hoffer. I can't take 10. Scout's not living this turn either. It's going to get eaten. All right, that's probably a misplay from my opponent. Oh, uh, actually, if they have no removal, then I, I can get this. I can get this line. Blood, remnants of life. Uh, my win condition now is basically non-existent, so that's good. I I, I need to draw Nael. I lose if I don't draw Nael. And I'm probably dead already. No, okay, I'm dead. I can't get through that. Mm. Nayal? Alright, shoot for the moon. Shoot for the moon. The legendaries will carry me. Uh, iron unironically very funny. Let's show these bad folks of bad I think I have to remove one of the five damage off the table. I know this is frost locked in, but I'll, I'll take a risk with the frost spell. It doesn't always get you damage. And then Symphony of Sins will carry me instead. Imagine if this lives. Alright, imagine if I draw Astral Vigilant and I get to do Symphony of Sins twice, kind of. Actually, that doesn't work that way. It's not as good as I think it is. Holy shit, Spaceship Death Knight. They've, again, been winning the game because they've not been playing the spaceships. Crazy. Frost, mark of the bitter. Time is against me. Uh, that's Nael guaranteed, right? No, I could hit Troubled Mechanic. Symphony has six to all in it. I think that's what we shoot for. <laughs> I mean, it's never going to be good. Oh, that's funny. 
Valen, we have a problem. Does anyone copy? Wow, that actually could have done something for me, is the funny thing. It would have done nothing, to be fair, but... I didn't get poisonous anyway. Now sight read. All right. Honestly, you don't deserve any quest completions for finishing me off. All right. It turns out if you play some sort of mid-rangey aggression deck and you only play up against Death Knights, uh, the deck sucks. <laughs> Funnily enough, that is a really bad deal. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy, everyone. Enjoy my insightful analysis there. There's definitely some things I think I would change with this deck. Maybe I would make it more value orientated and play like more of a controlish mid-range hunter style of things. A few of the cards did okay, but some of them were a bit underwhelming. I'd probably say this idea of like as as much as they did well, the Nexus Shafar with the bunch of bananas and the Awakening Tremor type deal. Uh, perhaps you just want to go more hard in on the Discoverers, and you just want stuff in the early game to keep you alive. Maybe even want stuff like, you know, star power just to get you the ability to recover and bring back the board again. But th there's there's something here. There's something here. But I think, how do you beat Control Death Knight? I, I don't know. Not with this deck, I suppose. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like and subscribe to YouTube, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.